welcome to Pirate News. I'm Ashley Stepper. And I'm Pierre LaMonica. Today we will cover everything from campus events, Seton Hall sports, and your five-day weather forecast. Today at 12 o'clock on the green, there will be a walking tour of the university. It will provide some historical insights into the buildings and structures that make up our campus. It is 45 minutes long and will follow the campus in the order it was developed in. Contact Brian Meadows at brian.meadows at shoe.edu. On Friday, March 29th from 10 to 11 a.m. in Bethany Hall for the fourth part of the University's Inclusion Speaker Series, the Human Resources Department, presented by Mary D. Hinton, the president of the College of St. Benedict, who earned her Ph.D. in Religion and Religious Education from Fordham University. Hinton is a distinguished speaker about diversity and inclusion and brings a higher education perspective to this important topic. On Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon, the College of Nursing and the School of Medical and Health Sciences will hurl host their first ever open house at the IHS campus. Graduate program directors and students will be in attendance to help future students discuss their goals. For more information, contact Michael Giorgio at michael.giorgio.shu.edu. Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology invites all Seton Hall University students, faculty, staff, and administrators to Lenten Lamentations, a series of three Lenten scriptural reflections. Each reflection will take place from 5 to 5.45 p.m. for the next three Fridays in the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception. Afterwards, participants are welcome to join the seminary in its reflection for a simple Lenten Friday meal of soup and bread served by ICSST seminarians. Registration is encouraged by the Friday prior to each date. RSVP to Teresa Miller at teresa.miller at shu.edu. And now we'll head over to Chris Russo with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Chris? Thank you very much, Pierre and Ashley. Hello, Pirate Nation. I am Chris Russo, and this is your Seton Hall Sports Update. The softball team knocked off Fairfield on the road Tuesday by the score of 9-4. The Pirates trailed 4-0 before scoring three in the fourth inning. Sophomore Jaden Tate tied the ballgame in the fifth with an RBI single. Jari Pandolfo recorded what became the game-winning double in a five-run eighth inning to secure the win. The Pirates play a three-game set at DePaul this weekend. The baseball team held on to beat NJIT 8-5 on Tuesday night. The Pirates scored four in the second on back-to-back -back home runs by freshman David Haverman and Steve Grober. They added four more in the fifth with a sack fly, a pair of bases loaded walks, and a fielder's choice. However, the Pirates surrendered a run in the 8th and 4 in the ninth before securing the win for Brennan O'Neill, who threw six innings of four-hit shutout ball. The Pirates will be the guests of Fairleigh Dickinson on Wednesday before playing a three-game weekend series at Iona. In related news, Pirates outfielder Christian Del Castillo captured Big East Player of the Week on Monday. Last week, the team won all three of its games as Del Castillo batted 600. It only took three games for Del Castillo to drive in nine runs and score six more. Del Castillo recorded a career-high five RBIs on Friday against Wagner. Pitcher Ricky DeVito was named to the Big East weekly honor roll after tossing a three-hit complete game shutout against Wagner. That will do it for your Seton Hall sports update. Now let's get back to Pierre and Ashley. Thanks, Chris. Starting next week, online registration will begin for undergraduate classes for the fall 2019 semester. Seniors will be allowed to register first on April 1st, followed by juniors on April 4th, sophomores on April 10th, and freshmen on April 16th. Those with the last name between L and Q will have the earliest registration time, followed by students with the last name between R and Z, A and D, and finally E and K. Remember to make an appointment with your academic advisor to receive your PIN number and check the Seton Hall website for full details about the registration schedule. The Wright Club, which is an extension of summer and winter writing retreats, provides students a quiet place on campus to work on research. It is available Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. and Fridays from 9.30 to 12.30 in Duffy 81. For more information, contact Mary Balkan at mary.balkan at shoe.edu. Now we'll head over to Mariana Delacqua with your five-day weather forecast. Mariana? Thanks, Pierre. Mariana Delacqua here with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Today there will be partly cloudy skies with a high of 56 and a low of 44. The skies will continue partly cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 50. Saturday, the sun will shine, but we expect mostly cloudy skies with a high of 70 and a low of 53. Sunday will bring rain showers with a high of 60 and a low of 35. Finally, Monday will start off the week with partly cloudy skies and a high of 49 with a low of 36. That's all for South Orange's five-day forecast. I'm Mariana Delacqua, and now back to Pierre and Ashley with more of your Seton Hall news. The 5th Annual Corks and Forks events will take place on Thursday, April 11th at 6.30 p.m. at the Echo Lake Country Club in Westfield, New Jersey. 
Join Julie Williard and Maria Bozella along with the Pirate Blue Athletic Fund in an evening of food and wine tasting to benefit Seton Hall Athletics. There will also be raffles, door prizes, and more, so be sure to register online at shu.edu slash corksforks or contact Ariel St. Paul at ariel.stpaul at shu.edu for more information. Senior portraits have been taking place since Monday and will conclude on Friday, March 29th. Schedule your appointment at www.ryear.com and enter school code 223. For more information, contact Megan Borowick at megan.borowick at shu.edu. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Pierre LaMonica. And I'm Ashley Stepper. Have a great day, Pirates.